and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo and we're here at the South Park Center and I'm delighted to be joined with Savannah and Taylor with their movie, The Tale of the Daughter. Let's take a look at the clip. to us at New Filmmakers. Oh, I've got so many questions, my goodness. <laughs> uh, <laughs> for those that haven't seen it, tell us a brief synopsis. Um, it's a story about a mother and daughter, and a mo the mother has had a stroke, and they're estranged, so they're working on making that work when a loan shark arrives. Um, so amidst their troubles in the loan shark, they have to work together in order to survive. I was not ready for anything in your film. Like, I was not. I had no idea where you were taking me, and I was like, "Oh my goodness! I should not have watched this alone." Um, but no, really, really brilliant story with so many layers to it. Um, where did the inspiration come for you both? Now, this is great because you both co-wrote this, so you know, share about how that experience took place and where the inspiration comes to turn it into a film. Yeah, um, our third co-writer, Jaslyn, who was also starred and co-produced, mm -hmm. and she's the daughter. Okay. Um, she came to us with a story that she wanted to tell about a role reversal between a mother and a daughter in a caretaking situation. She had seen that happen with her mother and her grandmother, mm. how, how strange it is for a child to take care of a parent. And we just really wanted to shoot an action scene. So we, <laughs> we kind of... Merged together, and there's yeah. <laughs> Kind of just came together and gave everybody what they want. And it ended up being a story we had no idea was going to come to where it, it has, it was just yeah. kind of surprised us as well. Mm -hmm. No, it's so, uh, ama amazing, but I mean, what I love is that there was some very dramatic, serious, emotional elements between mother and daughter, and then you took us into this kind of other thriller genre, like, oh my goodness, what's just happened with this situation here? Um, so I love the, the dynamic of it. Did you kind of know with that concept of the story how you wanted to bring in this action? How did that kind of come into it? Because I love that it was so layered. Yeah, well, when we were talking about it, oh, do you want to answer? I'm jumping. <laughs> well, the one thing that came to mind is we knew the house that we were going to shoot at before uh, we even really got far with the story. Yeah. So we knew we were going to be at this secluded cabin in this mountain town, and we're like, maybe a loan shark's there, you know, yeah. and like yeah. just kind of playing off of that. So I think we were always looking for ways to not make this, the movie so dramatic and yeah. so deep into the mm -hmm. to the struggles of, of caretaking, but having a good balance. And the Raising loan shark was a great, a yeah, yeah like, just, like, let's bring a loan shark into it and yeah. see what happens. Like, yeah. I lo you did have a great location, like I just, I mean it stood out, you know, as a great location. Thank I love you. that you just mentioned as well that you kind of took the location and created story around that as well. It was like the Ozark location yeah. or something, it was brilliant. Oh, thank you. Um, but so how did, so how did that come about because that's a big part of the film obviously as well. That was kind of in the package that Jaslyn presented to us. Uh, her family happened to have this cabin in Groveland, California, like 30 minutes outside of Yosemite. And she was like, I think we could do it there, it would be free location and then, you know, she took us through a tour of it, so we just wrote it specific to where we were going to shoot it, and we only stayed in one place, which was great. For COVID, we had our own little set bubble where yeah. it's like everybody's staying right there. We're all um, test, you know, we did yeah. our best. It's, it was before any COVID guidances were really out there, so, um, it, but it, it helped so much to have this location, like as we were writing, because it was so specific and. It is a small location, but because we were so familiar with it, we got to open it up and make mm -hmm. it feel a little bigger, I think, I hope. No, you definitely did. I, th I really felt like you had some really juicy moments for the characters. Like, they were all so very individually distinctive, and, and like, they all had, like, a whole, felt like a real strong backstory themselves, you know? <laughs> um, but, you know, I love when you brought elements of, like, dark, co there's definitely some dark comedy and some funny moments in there as well. Um, tell us a little about your casting process and how you kind of, form those characters into your, into your script. For sure. So um. we pretty much knew everyone except for the mom character, mm -hmm. and the mom character is like so important, like with her depicting um, recovering from a stroke. Yeah. It's like if this isn't working, then maybe the story won't work. You know, yeah. it, it really needs to work. So we worked with a casting director, um, Nikki Katz, and, mm -hmm. and she we were, you know, thinking about maybe going out to some names, and uh, Leslie Stevens, the, the actor that, the, the actress that plays the mom, 
we got a self tape from her and it was it was just incredible and we it just was the the scene where she actually kicks Joe out which is a really tough scene we didn't make it easy on her in the writing at all so and she came to us with that self tape and, and did perfectly and just like what she was doing physically with the character we were like wow she really understands mm -hmm. what, what it's like and, and you know we come to find out in the email she had caretake for her mother who had had a stroke oh, for like 16 wow. years and then two days before she sent the the self-tape her father had a stroke oh my goodness and she was currently caretaking for him in wow. that moment when she submitted the audition and it was just well just things were everything was just falling yeah. into place with her and absolutely um, and she's amazing just mm -hmm. absolutely like she's like a bodies. dance background so yeah like all of the the, the like the physical manifestations of recovering from a stroke she was like it has to be like this and like what's my rules and like was so was on so top good. of it and we're yeah. just like okay we're benefiting from your talent and yeah. you know, and your personal experience and, and she took such care good. with it mm -hmm. like really took so much care and she would be like you know my mom had this thing where one side of her arm just wasn't so she was always leaning on one side just every like micro attentions to parts of her body it was just it was so I, I feel like we learned so much from her acting yeah. and that mm -hmm. the, like to explore that character she took it so much deeper than I think that we thought we could take her so. no I mean it was it was mesmerizing to watch as well it really was yeah um for you both as co-directors like how is that beautiful dynamic obviously got a great you know dream team network here but like how does that work for you on set and kind of how do you work with your actors too how is that process for you yeah, that's an interesting question. Well, we're we're in a relationship, so we're very that good at communicating with family. one another. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yes. yeah, yeah. yeah, so that's very much something that it's easy for us to communicate like that. Yeah. I mean, we're together 24 hours a day, um, which is codependent but healthy, I think. Yeah. It feels good. Uh, <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> um, with, like, the directing of actors and kind of, this was our, our first bigger production. We had done, like, a guerrilla short film together. Um, and that was just trying to get it done more, but we were really learning about our dynamic mm -hmm. on set this mm -hmm. time, and um, it, it was really interesting to see it unfold and, and grow, and it's it's grown even more now um, as we continue to kind of figure it out and workshop it. Yeah. Um, and with the actors, it was kind of funny. It's like, like uh, sometimes it was like one of our actors, and we loved them all as people, but sometimes they were just clicking with how Savannah was communicating with them. So Savannah yeah. would, I'd, I'd stand by, and we would have talked about a direction, and Savannah's, you know, talking to this person because she they yeah. react well to her, and you know sometimes um, that it was me, and that sometimes it was her, and we just kind of went off whatever whoever was communicating best with that person, and whoever was giving the, that pickup, and oh, it's amazing meeting the needs of the actors, yeah, yeah. That maybe. yeah, and it was vice versa, like you know it would depend on the direction, just who, like oh I'm, I'm not getting what you're saying, I'm getting what Savannah's saying, okay, yeah. let's let Savannah take it because she knows what we want, so it's fine. Oh, <laughs> you know? I love that. That's so wonderful. <laughs> That's so yeah. wonderful having that patience with each other as well and just, you know, and just full, feeling, feeling the energy of the room as well, which is yeah. wonderful. Um, now, was that, I mean, there's axes involved, there's, 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 there's heavy equipment. Like, what was kind of some of the bigger challenges that you, that you had when you were making the project? Oh, man. Again. If like, any. Uh, no, none. No. None. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do it? <laughs> <laughs> it was so easy. Um, I'll pick one and then you can pick one. How's that? Okay. All that right. Good. Um, the, I mean, we, I'm obsessed with the action scene. I, we love like these, like tricking people to thinking our characters are hitting each other. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but in, that was such a challenge. We got to work with a great stunt coordinator, Camry Bruder, who has just so much experience. And Savannah just happened to know him from working on set with him. He was so generous with his time and information that he gave us. And uh, we all collaborated with Cami and our DP, Caitlin, to get this action scene done in the first day. Obviously, we didn't. And we <laughs> at the end of every shoot day, we were doing pickups for the action scene, mm -hmm. pretty much. Um, or probably the first two days, I would say specifically, but, um, and yeah, I mean that the first day the smoke comes rolling in from the wildfires in the area, it looked great, but it was hard. Like we were kind of worried about our actors who were huffing and puffing and being yeah, their own body doubles and, or stunt doubles, I should say. And, um, that was, that was a worry, but they were just such troopers and like, you know, Jasmine's. Jasmine's the project at that point. She's <laughs> she brought the story to us. Yeah. She's doing all her own stunts, you know, and uh, she she pushed through incredibly hard. She was rubbing her back on the ground, poor thing. And, uh, but that was you know normal normal challenges. I promise there will be a stunt double for you in the feature, Jesse, because that was oh, wow. that was <laughs> you good did for so her well. though for doing her doing her stunts. That's yeah, amazing. did That's the dirty amazing. work. Yeah, yeah. And then what's your challenge? Um, Lucky, 
I think I think post is always a challenge mm-hmm, with, mm-hmm. With, with indie, um, you know, because it's like the budget is so low and just like finding people that are just passionate about the project and willing to, to work alongside it. And, and we we're probably in post for maybe six months or so. And it's like yeah. a long process and mm-hmm. you always want it to be sooner than it is. Mm-hmm. But um, um, that was like really a lot of fun working with the composer. He actually gave us tracks before we even shot anything. Mm-hmm. Like oh, our opening, cool. our opening mm-hmm. sequence, That's we awesome. already had the music and we already storyboarded it out. And it's like when you just work with people that you're not paying them immensely, but they're passionate about what they're doing. Yeah. It, it like mm-hmm. eases that challenge and uh, yeah. And they're so sure. supportive and like buy into the story. And it's just, we were so lucky to find the people that we did. Your film has to be seen in a live you know, auditorium, it just does. Like, you know, like hearing those reactions from your scenes is almost as much as fun as watching it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we love how, it. We right? Love you it. must love it. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. <gasps> all the crazy, uh, uh. Everyone just literally lets out all their vocal sounds possible in your film. Um, but uh, <laughs> what was the, uh, what, I mean, we certainly love having your film at New Filmmakers LA. What's the experience been like, you know, and especially sharing it with a live audience as well? Yeah. I think last night, whenever um, there was that, there was, that, there was an intense moment and kind of a dangerous moment for a character, and I usually wouldn't react like this, but hearing the sounds, so then I just started like cackling together <laughs> because it was just so fun that they were reacting we did. that way. <laughs> and like, I think we're the only people laughing at that point. Yeah. <laughs> like, Everyone's freaking out, and we're just like, oh, this is amazing. <laughs> like, that is yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Oh, that's well, that, I mean, it makes it worthwhile, doesn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, I love, uh, I love hearing a laugh at a place I didn't know was going to be funny. Uh, yeah. It's always just like, oh my God, that's funny? Great. Like, I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah. what have you learned from this particular project, maybe? So, uh, and, and what from that, you know, is, 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 is coming next or what are you moving on to next as well? Mm-hmm. I think uh, for me, what I learned from Tale of the Daughter is like we wrote it in a time. We wrote it like March, April beginning of the pandemic like oh, literally it just time. happened and we're like we have no clue when we're going to shoot this right so let's just have fun with the writing like let's let's write what we actually want to see and, and and take risks and try things we haven't tried and let's do an action scene and we just stuffed a, a 23 minute film with as many things as we could and um that i, I just like the best experience you could have ever had you know i just so in every project from here on out i want to just push it you know and just yeah. just really try things and and um try to have fun with it because it's amazing to be in the theater and, and feel like people yes. reacting you're just like this is so great yeah. like so worth it yeah i think i think the main takeaway is like the, just the power of collaboration mm-hmm. i think i mean it, just because it's such an umbrella uh, effect of all these things everybody just had such great ideas who we were working with and like yeah. they would just take their department and or you know in any direction and be like what about if we do this we're like i didn't think of that that's a great idea yeah let's do that we love a collaborator that says yes and you know like like i love what you're saying and i'm also thinking about this like we just we love collaborating and it's like we're all here trying to make this happen of course i want your ideas on Mm -hmm. how this could be better Um, Uh, yeah Yeah. and i think a very important dynamic you you know you threw in there obviously you get to you know meet her, her love uh, you know that she shares with, and I think the dynamic was it was just you know beautiful to see you know of all the battles that she had, she's got someone that she cares about beyond having to be a carer, you know. Mm. Um, but also just the the, the dynamic of um, of people that are maybe older or maybe you know haven't got the right words to say or maybe have instant reaction. I love how you kind of evolved the mother to almost like soften to be like listen stop you're fine like you know what I mean like get over it and come back when you're ready was yeah. that something you kind of wanted to corporate so that done was really important in there. oh yeah and I, I think we should first say we didn't mention her in the casting but huge shout out to Lauren Ruth Ward she's an amazing musician and we were writing the character Jasmine showed, a, showed, showed her to us we hadn't heard of her before and just watched her perform and she yeah. was like I want this kid like I think this character should be as free as Lauren is when she's performing and we were like, okay, I don't know who's going to play this, but let's just write it for Lauren Ruth Ward mm-hmm. and we'll figure it out. And then we reached out to her on Instagram and she was like, yeah, I'll do it. And it was just, because we just started like geeking out and being oh. fan girls. Now we're friends. It's crazy. Her music, oh. her song is yeah. in the credits. Yeah. 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 Is that her song? Yeah, that's yeah. her song. Yeah. Water song. She was like, of course you can have it. Like yeah. it was just oh. like, she's, she's so a giving. a literal angel. And yeah. uh, um, so 
Yeah, showing and having someone like that, the, the freedom of like the positivity and the confidence in, yeah. a, in a queer character yeah. was just really what we wanted and she just embodied that yeah. to, to her to the core because that's who she is. She's extremely yeah. confident and queer and happy about it. And, yeah. um, but, you know, she uh, just brought this love to it and calmness and we wanted it to be, to, to point at non-acceptance because yeah. of... You know, I, I feel like it's universal to to parents and, and yeah. children anyway, and we just channel it through an LGBT lens. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it's completely normal for a parent to be disappointed, and uh, because the ideal of their child is just different. Yeah. Than um, who they are, and for a child to uh, be disappointed because their parent isn't who they thought they were. You right. know, it's it can be really they're humans. Yeah. Who they, they make mistakes like. Yeah. Like initially having bad reactions to who you're yeah. into. Um, yeah. But it was about that mutual acceptance because I think everybody yeah. has to go through it with yeah. their parent. Absolutely. But, mm -hmm. you know, bottom line, get over it and come back when you're ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which she just was so nice to, and refreshing to see that she didn't feel, you know, it wasn't a self reflection of feeling bad about herself. Mm -hmm. She'd done nothing wrong. She's just loving her beautiful girlfriend, you know. Yeah. So I just thought you did it really, really well and it's refreshing. So you're a dynamic duo. I'm expecting many, many more films, hopefully together and individually uh, if there's a piece of advice you could share with our filmmakers here and around the world what piece of advice could you share that you use in your kind of daily craft and you as an artist and filmmakers oh man um, I think I would say uh, be happy and grateful where you are and just be happy to do it because it can get really frustrating if you're thinking about the accolades you deserve or the money for the financing that's the tough part <laughs> like, yeah like, sure um, which by the way we're making a feature my Venmo is, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, but, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, just sticking to it and also leaning on those friendships and relationships yeah. that you should be cultivating if you haven't done that because it's just so lonely if you keep waiting on someone to just find you out of a patch, but maybe a big group of you can figure oh. it out together. Yeah. Wow, how do you follow that one? Oh. That's Easy, you that's, got it. That's fantastic. <laughs> um, I was just gonna say that, you know, like, we're uh, our team we like to prep as much as we can we mm -hmm. love to use pre-pro and try to visualize the film as much as we can we have to we have to. we have, to. <laughs> we have no <laughs> choice we can't wing it we gotta, we'll argue. <laughs> we gotta be on the same page completely but i i think that that's something like over the years that i really like uh, like appreciated is find the collaborators that will sit down with you and, and plan things out so that yeah. it can be the best it can be and yeah. sit with you in the minutia mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a lot of it you know but it's important <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's, you know, solid advice, being hu kind, humble, appreciative of where you are and where you're going and the people that collaborate with you. So I think that's something we can never forget. Mm -hmm. So thank you for sharing that. But thank you for this film. Please make more movies for us. We need to see more of your work. Okay, but welcome to the new filmmakers family. Thank you so much thank for having us. Much. It's been so wonderful being here. Thank you, Savannah and Terry.